Um, I would like to move Council Bill 120706. Second. It has been moved and seconded. The legislation is now in front of us. Thank you very much, Councilmember Herbold, for being sponsor of the legislation. You made some remarks yesterday, and we know that we have eight amendments today, but um, before I turn it over to central staff to uh, provide any additional orientation to the base bill, and before we get into the amendments, would you like to offer some opening comments again? Sure, absolutely. So um, this is necessary uh, legislation in order to support the Office of Labor Standards in its uh, enforcement of uh, legislation that this council has broken ground in passing, uh, both the um, uh, minimum payment ordinance for uh, people who are independent contractors and um, working for uh, network platforms and also legislation that uh, is sort of um, a guard against unfair deactivation, um, something that some people call a just cause deactivation. And these funds are necessary for um, OLS to enforce the legislation. Um, OLS is empowered uh, by its, um, the legislation that enacted the department to uh, notify council um, independently outside of uh, the executive and the mayor's office to notify us independently of what its resource needs are. That is when we refer to the certification memo um, that we get before the budget process. Um, that is um, their uh, exercising of their independent um, powers to notify the council of what its resource needs are. Um, they have been um, clear and, and um, persistent in identifying uh, what the needs are. And we have received uh, letters in the last uh, couple of days from uh, very uh, knowledgeable stakeholders in this area, uh, folks who have a unique experience in, um, in assisting workers in enforcing uh, these, uh, these types of ordinances. We've heard from uh, the Washington State Budget and Policy Center. Uh, we've heard from the Worker Center, um, the Workers' Rights Clinic. We've heard from uh, professors uh, who have studied this issue at the University of Washington. We've even heard from uh, Workplace Justice Lab at Rutgers University. Um, they all refer to the fact that um, the Office of Labor Standards um, is able to robustly enforce workers' rights because, not just because of the legislation that we passed, but because of the resources that are, is, are provided to the Office of Labor Standards uh, to hire adequate staff to enforce, but also to, um, to contract with uh, trusted uh, community partners um, who have the skills and the abilities and are and are trusted by workers um, to make sure that people um, who are who are doing this work know their rights. The um, Rutgers uh, Workplace Justice Lab refers to the city's Office of Labor Standards to have proven itself to be one of, and I quote, if not the most effective local agencies in the United States. They go on to say the success is due in no small part to OLS's enduring dedication to partnering with local community-based organizations on outreach, education, and enforcement efforts. Um, and so since um, they, they, they have um, this proven reputation of uh, ensuring that um, dollars that workers deserve get into their pockets. As we pass new laws to protect more workers, we have to make sure um, that they um, continue to be adequately uh, resourced. So with that, I'll, I'll pause. I'll have more to say um, about the importance of, um, of enforcing uh, and the funds to in enforce uh, as we go through the amendment process. Thank you. I uh, now have the amended ordinance in front of us, agenda item number 22, Council Bill 1. 20706 as amended. Hearing no additional comments, Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll on the adoption of Council Bill 
2-0706 as amended. Council Member Herbold? Yes. Council Member Juarez? Yes. Council Member Lewis? Yes. Council Member Morales? Yes. Council Member Nelson? No. Council Member Peterson? No. Council Member Sawant? Yes. Council Member Strauss? Yes. Chair Mosqueda? Aye. Seven in favor, two opposed. Thank you very much. The motion um, passes and the bill as amended will be sent to the Seattle City Council for final vote. 